All right, guys, finally back for another video on the home lab. Got an actual tripod for my phone, too, so I'm not just freehanding it. Uh, thanks to my other YouTube channel, basically, because for that one, I needed really need a tripod. I was like, you know what, fine, I'll just get one. Used to have one, don't know where it went. I think it broke at some point. But as you can see, we got one of the servers open. This one is the 12 drive uh, micro. Right. I'm just saying micro, my brain is dying. Anyways, uh, this is the 12 drive super micro server. We're gonna try to get it going, get some free NAS put on it, or now it's AKA known as true NAS, uh, put on that. So as you can see, uh, I've got some SATA SSDs over here. I've got some SATA cables, then I've got a custom made cable. Maybe a little bit blasphemy to try to do this, but at the same time, I'm not planning on putting a GPU in here. So I'm gonna put the drives down here and hold them out of the way. There is actually some vent holes. You can't really see them down here. I'm actually going to use to hold the drives. But I made a custom cable. It didn't come out too bad. It's a standard uh, GPU power pin connector is what they use. So if I can get it to focus. Come on. Yeah, you can kind of see. On one end, it's Tessa tape, so it's nice and clean wrapped up. That's the connection point between the two. And then we have some SSD or... This is actually just SATA power connectors, but for the SSDs. And this is gonna plug into the slots back here. And those are actually for the uh, the front drives. I forget what they actually call them on the board. Uh, back plane power. So, cause it's BP power is what it's labeled as. But what we're gonna do is connect to there cause this is only a 2U server. So it doesn't need both back plane power connectors uh, or all four, I should say. So it has two spares. So we're gonna use that, plug that into these drives and then get the SATA connections plugged into there and then hope that this works and get it installed. I was initially trying to install it on a SSD essentially or a flash drive and this did have two of them. I took the other one out to try to get it to work. But turns out, yeah, you can get it installed but the problem is is that this server without modifying the BIOS, you have to, you can't actually boot off a NVMe drive. So unfortunately, I just, I really don't want to dig around with a, flash in the BIOS. So I'm just gonna to result to doing this, which is a lot easier. May not be the absolute best idea, but hopefully most of the cables are gonna stay out of the way of the fans and not interrupt airflow too much. I'm not planning on pushing the power to the absolute limit of the server, so I'm not too worried about it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these drives put in, get the cables tried to lay neatly, everything covered back up, uh, but leave the main cover off with the actual pieces back in. And then I'll catch back up with you guys once I get done with that, so. See you in a minute. All right, guys. There you go. Um, I know some people probably been, like cringing at the idea of doing this, but honestly, if there was a better way to do this, I'd prefer it. But I really don't want to take up any extra of the front drive base um, as I need to. And I've got internal SATA connectors. Uh, maybe in the future I'll redo this and make it a little better. But I don't think it looks too bad. It's not taking up really any room. And if I still wanted to fit a GPU in here, I probably could or I would just shift these around and reattach them somewhere else so I had room. Maybe even shift them around and put them on top of the PSUs over there because that's very out of the way. There's nothing that goes over there. The only thing that's over there is the LSI card for the front drives. But I don't think it looks too bad. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this up, go ahead and put TrueNAS on it because I was fighting with it before. So I'm gonna go and just do that off camera. Plenty of videos of people putting TrueNAS on things. It is the most versatile thing ever. Um, at least for people to start out with. There's plenty of other options out there, but I'm going to go with TrueNAS for now. In the future, I'd probably redo this because I want to make even more availability of storage. So basically, if this server died, either I'd make two master servers to handle a cluster of drives or a bunch of JBODs. Uh, so, I don't know. That's for the future me to figure out, though. But for now, I'll close this up, put TrueNAS on it, and then catch back up to you guys once I get that done and we'll go over putting the actual drives in it. So, see you guys here in a little bit. All right, TrueNAS is in, it went really well the seventh time around. This is what we're putting in. There is 10, 10 terabyte HGST drives, SAS 12 gigabit per second. So these should be able to handle most of my stuff for a while. I went with the, I went ahead and went with 10 drives because, well, I could. Uh, my brain likes even numbers, so 
one with 10. So we're gonna put those in there. I'm hoping to get about 80 terabytes left over, maybe 90 if we're lucky. Um, Cause right now I am filling up almost 20 terabytes and I could easily fill up another 20 within a couple of, within a, six months. So yeah, we're gonna go and get these put in there. So let's move over to back over to the server and go and get them dropped in there. So see you in a second. All right, so I'm gonna move over here. Got them all ready. I've got them actually queued up in the server above here. Taking a guess as to what you can see. I know you can see generally this area. I've got some next on the cart, so server is running. I know sometimes you should just shut it off, but these should, they're all hot swappable supposedly, so I'm not too worried about it. They're all blank drives. Let's get them all slotted in. Like that, they are all in. Hopefully, my arm wasn't interrupting you too much. So, 10 terabytes by 10, 100 terabytes of drives, and then there's two 4 terabyte SATA drives here. Uh, they're video storage drives. I just had two laying around because so I know they're cross compatible. Uh, at least SATA is to SAS, uh, or SAS is to SATA, however you want to say that. You can put a SATA drive in a SAS slot, but you can't put a SATA drive in a, or you can't put a SAS drive in a SATA slot. Basically. So they're there. If I want to use them, I'll use them so all drives are filled. You can hear the fans ramping up because now it's got a little bit more load on it because all the spinning metal in here. So I'm going to move back to this side. See how you guys can see it. You can see all the lights are on and blinking. So I'm going to catch you guys over on my computer. Uh, over on TrueNAS and we will get it all set up. So, see you guys in a second. Alright guys, we're over here on my computer. As you can see, everything's loaded up. And you can even see the IP address down here. I'm not too worried about showing it. It's whatever. Because um, I'll probably end up changing this, or I will end up changing this, because uh, I have actual list of things that are on it. Or my actual IP config list, I should say. So everything's here, yeah, your CPU temperature per, per core, all of our memory. So as you can see, uh, got, we got a little bit of RAM, we got a little bit of cores available. So this is my first time really actually using TrueNAS, so we're going to kind of go through it together, uh, which could be interesting. But we're going to go over to storage, I'm going to create a new pole, or pole, pool. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it just the main pool. Um, let's see. We're gonna call it main storage for the fun of it. Next. Alright. Yeah, as you can see, we got there's uh, the 9.1 drive. So you can see over here, there they all are. So, we'll click on that. Uh, let's see. Um, which raid do we want to go with? Um, trying to think. We'll go with a RAID Z2. So, we'll go 10 wide. So, total raw capacity puts us at 72 terabytes, or tibby bytes, I should say. Um, so that's good. I'd much rather have the RAID Z2, because if I, for some reason, have two drives fail at once, I'm going to be really mad so um number vdevs one okay so let's hit next yeah i'm not gonna worry about a log drive for now i uh, i may use those uh ssds i have they're nvme drives i know they're not server grade but uh they'll at least last me for a year because i got them dirt cheap so i'm hoping they at least last me for a year so i may go back through and re-add that because i believe i can so, let's see, next, spare, we're not going to worry about that for now, uh, don't have any caching drives for now, um, I really should, so actually, instead of a log, I'll probably use those as a cache drive, but I really need to get some enterprise SSDs to use as a cache drive, and I want to, but right now my bridging gap measure was using 
those these current drives, which are the 12 gigabit per second. So I'm hoping that's good enough because at the same time, a lot of my file transfer, my main file transfer, is going to be so massive, a cache drive won't even be able to keep up because my main, uh, so let me see. If I come over to here, you can see my main drive or my main data drive. It says 18.6 terabytes full, but it's a mirror, so it's actually full. So uh, technically there's 36 terabytes, but there's actually about 20, there's about 18.6 terabytes used on it. So that's going to have to be moved. So we're not using a cache, um, no metadata. Um, a lot of this I may have to go back through and change. And if people want to give me their input on what I th they think I should change, uh, so to give you a reference, my general use for this is going to be as, um, if I can, if I remember right, which I should be able to do, cause this is my main pool. Uh, I'm going to build a partition off certain areas. I'm going to par probably partition off, uh, four or five terabytes for file storage. Um, and then partition off the rest of it as going to be, uh, movies and stuff or all the other arg stuff as i'll say um so if somebody wants to give me more input on that actually knows a little bit more instead of me just guessing my way and i can rebuild this because i'm not going to copy everything over for a little while because i got to set up a 10 gigabit backlink between my computer to that server due to the fact that it will take um oh even at 10 gigabit per second even if i'm going to average 8 gigabit per second i'm going to take probably a week for it to actually do that so we're gonna have to figure something out Anyways, uh, no DDUP, um, pool name. So main storage, one RAID Z2, 10, 9.1 TB drives, 72.77 TB bytes. Create pool, confirm. So and then I may make a separate pool for video storage on the other one and just use both of those uh, video drives. So we'll play around with that. We'll let this finish. All right. So there we are. And I'll probably set up the automatic scrubbing at midnight or something like that when I'm not ever going to be transferring data or set it up at like 5 a.m. Because likely to be doing stuff at 5 a.m. is lower. Not impossible, but lower. Um, so yeah, all right guys, after a bit of work, I got everything set up. So basically what I just had to do was under storage here, or I should, sorry, just say data sets. Got my two data sets here, got them set up. Um, I just didn't see what they were calling it, but they called the the queue size. So uh, I believe that's what it was called. So I got one for files, which is five terabytes, or tibby bytes, I should say, and one for movies, which is 60 tibby bytes. So you can see over here, here it is. So under my computer, it is mapped out right here. So I have one called movies under that. And this is movie stored on my local ones. I grabbed uh, the highest, because uh, this came from, a, uh, I believe this one came directly from a Blu-ray. So uh, it's 25 gigabytes. Um, in size so the whole goal is to see how this goes so I'm gonna drag drop to copy it so not that fast I mean I'm only gonna expect it to get to about 114 megabytes per second but this doesn't even it doesn't even see it's happening like I mean it's it's going meh so I'm probably going to go through and set up some stuff, try to speed line it a little bit. So, I'm using a little bit, let's see, I think it's using a bit of RAM, not very much though. CPU is just at zero. So it's really not using much, but I need to go through and fix that, get that sped up a little bit. But yeah, so, got the file server done, that's good. I'm gonna just let that, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, stop that. Uh, I'm gonna go and get some things sped up, work on getting some speed stuff done, but anyways, file server's done. We're good to go on that. I just need to work on transferring all my main files over, so 
due to the fact of if I go properties, it's, yeah, this will take a little bit to transfer over. And that's just the movies. That's not even counting in. The other one was just massive, which is the shows. So, take a little bit. So, it will be, uh, it'll be, a, be a bit of a journey. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.